Uh, yeah, let me let's just get started, man. Let, hey, yo, man, welcome to the 280 Plus podcast. I'm your host, Slows Def, and I'm here, man, with a returning guest. You know what I'm saying? My man's my man, 100 grand. Yo, fam, intro, reintroduce yourself, dog. All right, it's your boy, Stu. Um, you can find me on IG at Biscayne underscore James. Um, and yeah, I'm yeah. Lose. I'm Rose's right hand or left hand. I don't know. Which yeah, one. nah, nah. This is my dog, man. Like I'm telling you, like, like for real, for real. If he would, if he would just say, "Yo, I'll be your co-host," he got the job. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm <laughs> telling you, like, it would get crazy. Like it would get crazy. But I don't know if he got. I don't know if he really into this or like that. But he definitely. It, it pays to have unemployed friends. I tell you that, man. Because my man just kind of <laughs> pulled up through. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, man, I need you. Yeah, you know I mean, can you what you doing? Because I know, I knew, I knew he got fired on his day off. You know what I'm saying? So I, I said, <laughs> I <did>. yeah. <laughs> so I said, I said, yo, fan, let me, yeah, you know I mean, yo, you trying to pull up? He said, yeah, dog, you know, I ain't got no job right now. You know what I'm saying? But uh, nah, uh, this this dude, man, he he's like my favorite friend to roast. You know what I mean? Just because, like, I don't know. I think it's because you got thick skin for real. For like, I know you could take it, and like you you Bro. dish it back, and I think it's because you laugh. Like no matter what, you you gonna be bugging. Like you know what I mean? So this, yo, you know what I'm saying? Not even sad. I'm the easiest person to make laugh. I think everything funny, bro. I be laughing at shit. About you. This is gonna yeah. be episode 53, my dude. Bro, and, and you know what? I'm just gonna say this right now before we even get started, bro. I'm so proud of you, bro. Like, and it's like, bro. I told you from the start. I said, yo, bro. Like, all it is is consistency, yo. Yeah. All it is is do it and then just be consistent. And I said, at the end of the day, they gonna come. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. you, you see, you three in. This is like easy. It's like muscle memory, ain't. It? Like, yeah, it's it's definitely easy because I used to get like nervous, like you know what I mean. Uh, I used to be sweating a lot, you know what I mean, <laughs> when I used to record these drones. Um, yeah, man, it is, it does feel like muscle memory. Um, it's it's easier. So people are starting to say like, yo, I can hear your cadence, like you got like a style to you, you know what I mean, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I do get a lot of nice compliments, man, like from people. Um, it's just you know, um, I just want to turn those like curious. Uh, the curious audience i wanted to turn them into like you know just more regulars you know what i mean because like you know you part of like I, I was watching something like this is shout out to nikki saunders um she's this like content creator um she like a guru she does a lot of coaching and like i like uh i, I did this like three-day little conference whatever and i mm -hmm. i kind of only tune in to a couple of them because i you know it was just my schedule whatever but it was free but she, normally she offered like this normal class and he broke down like the type of fans that people have and then like it's like four tiers and then like the bottom tier is like your tribe you know what i mean it's like the people that yeah that's a cult they, yeah they're gonna support you no matter what they everything like they're the the buyers they're the consumers then you got there's another solid tier above that and then it's like curious fans and then it's like like just like real like cat like just passing through type shit like and uh yeah, 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 so yeah. I, I feel people like you know people are tapping in i think they you know they they still trying to figure it out but like you know 53 in man like i you know i feel like a staple at this point like you know what I, mean? I don't know i'm talking shit but like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, talk your shit, man. Yeah, man. hey you know what's funny i need go for i'm gonna keep it all the way but i'll keep it all the way but nigga i was nervous the first episode i wasn't really nervous i was just like no we're gonna get on there chop it over my home but nigga i was nervous this episode really i'm in the crib Yo, fam, I'm over here trying on outfits and shit, nigga. Like I'm about to go to the club, <laughs> like, like a bitch. Yo, for real, and yo, that's a that's a thing too, man. I think people, uh, when you get into podcasts, like I think, especially if you're gonna do video, you do gotta like kind of mm -hmm. you gotta get dressed a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I, I t it was like, yo, fam, I remember I looked at the episodes, bro. It might have been like. 40 some episodes before I wore the same shirt again, like before I repeated a shirt. And mm -hmm. I was like, and I touted that, but I'm like, damn, nigga, like I got some, like, all right, but you know, and I, you know, and I see some people kind of coming up with certain things. And, you know, me and Z Rich, man, we talked about like that quality control and just like, you know, putting together a good product. And like, I think I pride myself on that, you know what I mean? Like, you know, if, if, um, no matter what, I'm, I'm gonna try to give y'all the best, most professional looking thing that I can give y'all. And you know, what I mean, we're gonna go from there, and then yeah, like I said, hopefully it pays dividends, and you know, what I mean, and it makes a difference, whatever. But I had like a little bit of a scheduling conflict, man, and I had to call my boy up, and uh, he said, yeah, and I and I actually felt more comfortable. I was like, you know what, like we're still, cause you know, we got, I, 
this guy, I call him for for you know, if I need that that financial advice, you know what I mean? We talk about you know, this episode might sound like a damn episode of Fresh and Fit or Kevin Samuels. I don't know. They might they might get us out of here, bro. I don't know. I don't know after this. <laughs> Because I'll be oh, worried, you know, we, we definitely uh, get into some stuff, man. But, like, before we get into anything like that, man, we're going to talk about some some crazy stuff, man. There's a, it's, a, it's a new movie out that we want to kind of touch on and just some general life stuff. But, like, one thing that I kept seeing um, recently is, like, there's this, like, uh, have you seen, like, um, people have been f- posting this, like, good fortune scenario. That's what I'm going to call it. And there's three choices, right? So the three choices is... Uh, have a 800 and this is like this is what you can only pick one have a 850 credit score 4k a week for the rest of your life or two million dollars cash right now so what are you picking and why and i think i i think i might i don't know i don't know what you're gonna pick but like i'm i was kind of teetering between two options but what you think man well here's the thing right i'm picking a 4k a week okay i know most people most people is probably gonna take the mill, and that's that's cool, but it's dangerous. Okay. Anytime okay. your life is gonna change overnight, you're not gonna be ready for it. Ooh. I mean, look at all the athletes that, that make their millions overnight when they sign that paper. Yeah. They, oh, matter of fact, on topic, did you see the Michael Beasley interview? Uh, no, no, no. But I heard, I, I heard, I seen one headline. But tell me, tell me what happened. But anyway, long story short, this nigga he went to the NBA. Yeah. His whole family robbed him. Whole family robbed him. That's what I they seen. That was the headline. It was like my own mom stole from me. That's what the headline was. Yo. Yeah, and there's a lot of lottery winners that they had the same thing happen where they had there's dudes that almost got killed because they sibling tried to set them up for a robbery. And it's like, yo, when your life changes overnight, you're not yeah. gonna be ready. Most important people around you, they not gonna be ready. They not so it's be ready. best to yeah. get that 4K and then you slowly scale your life up. Ah, and um and yeah, okay. yeah we, Okay, we that's sixteen thousand a month. So that's probably like a, I'm saying that I'm gonna think quick math. That's probably like one seventy a year. Yeah, most yeah. people ain't even making. So you making one seventy, you good? Take that four yeah. K, man. Take that four K, yeah. And, mm-hmm. and it's, it, I did the math. It's like about about ten years. You know what I mean, you are gonna get that two million. You know what I mean, now if it's mm-hmm. one of them things where it's like you can't. Like, I don't know, if you don't think you're going to be around for 10 years, you know what I mean, then yeah. maybe you want the cash. And I was leaning towards the 4K a week myself just because I'm like, yeah, like, that's that's a lot of money. Like, I mean, like, it ain't saying nothing about no taxes or nothing like that. It's just you got 4K yeah. a week every week for the rest of your life. Like, fam, you would just, yeah, you know what I mean, you could take a, a vacation, like, whenever, wherever you want to go every week. Like, because that don't mean I'm going to necessarily stop working, you know what I mean, or whatever, or making money. Most people, if you're making 4K a week, you don't have to work. Like, that's, working is really a choice at that point. True. You know what I'm saying? True. So it's like, you could go on vacation and not work for the rest of your life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, it's it doable. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, but you, but you, I mean, you a you a smart dude though, and I know, yeah, because once if I'm getting four K steady a week, like yeah, I would definitely take more risk. You know what I mean? With like that stability allows you to take more risk. You know what I mean? And I would, you know, I know you do yeah, heavy on the yeah. stock market, whatever. You said um some people don't think that they're gonna be around long. Second, third. Okay. Yeah. One thing I want to say about that, a lot of that is a power of the mind. Whatever you think is gonna happen, that's gonna happen. When you look at most people that live uh, wild lifestyles, they think short term. They only think for the weekend, or they think for they think over they think for the next twenty four hours. Okay. And because they think like that, they act like that. And then they and because they act like that, they end up in bad situations that will really cause you to be gone within the next twenty four hours. You know what I'm saying. Okay. So at the end of the day, as you think, the farther long term you think, there are studies that show them the bigger you think, the longer you live. Or the farther out you think, the, the farther you'll go. That's that's it's, it's uh, proven too. Um, uh. But oh, yeah, like that, manif- that manifestation, that self affirmation you know, like that speaking it to existence yeah. type stuff. Okay. The real manifestation, not the shit that the bitches be doing. Uh, oh, <laughs> talk about it. We're about to get us out of here today, man. I tell you, man. Uh, oh, shit, I said the bitches. I meant the women. <laughs> <laughs> good 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 save brother so yeah so but i did see some people arguing about like some people said the 850 credit score and i was like not credit is important and i have i have good credit but i'm like 
that 850 credit score that don't mean nothing if you don't have no capital to you yeah you know i mean to actually utilize it like like why would i want to just uh, play with that like that credit score could go down quick you know what i mean like my 4k mm-hmm. a week is stability even if i even if i'm going going hard one week i know yeah. you know seven days i'll be all right you know what i mean like <laughs> 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 yeah, and then you know another thing too. It. People need to understand this about credit, though. You can have an eight fifty credit score, but if you ain't got no income or you can't prove to the bank that you could pay this money back, when they give, they're not gonna give you no loan. So no, an eight fifty credit score—that's like I, I don't even know what that's like. That's stupid as shit, dog. Yeah, that's people like, fantasize about credit. Yeah, like what is that? Like, what would that be the equivalent of? Like, just like if you ain't have no income, whatever, or not no high income, no assets, but then you had an eight fifty credit score. What is that the equivalent of? That's the question, y'all. What is that? Dude, that's like that's like that's like having someone's house key. That's like having a house key, but you ain't got no house. You just got a key <laughs> that don't open up. You don't open up now. You can't even. What you gonna do? Yeah, I was just fucking. Stupid. I was gonna say, or is that like putting like like you know putting something like doing some type of expensive upgrade on something that's like disposable, kind of like um, I don't know. Like I was thinking about something like that, but um, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. That's it's something stupid. Yeah, something dumb. Yeah, it's dumb. So credit is good, <laughs> but we don't want like you could build that up. Yeah, you know I mean, with that four K, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like you could do things to, to better your situation. So we definitely not picking that. Oh yeah. What do you, but so I, I, I'm gonna just say to the audience, yo, thank, first of all, I meant to say this earlier. I appreciate the listeners. I appreciate the viewers, man. We, we going on a, a, almost a year. Um, about next week or so, it's gonna, it's gonna be a year. Oh, shit. I didn't know it was that fast. Yeah, man. April, Damn, 7th, April 7th is when my first episode dropped, man. And yo, it's crazy because you're actually pre YouTube era. You know what I mean? I went YouTube episode five. Oh. So yeah, yeah, episode yeah. So so for for YouTube, it ain't gonna be till April thirtieth or something like that. Uh, when when um okay yeah. So but but like we're closing in on the year, and uh, I appreciate all y'all, man. Like the the audience definitely. Um, I see it growing. You know what I mean? And we it's you know what I mean slow and steady wins the race. But I can tell you right now, man, ain't nobody more consistent than your boy, man. I just I, I tell you that right That's now. That's a fact. Yeah, I mean, that's a fact. Uh, that's that's all I can hang my hat on. And we, you know what? Yeah, not just consistency. You original. Like all your questions is original, thought yeah. process original, content original for the most part. And yeah, like yeah, geez. definitely. It's crazy too because like I definitely you know what I mean I have to consume content because to talk about stuff. But like, fam, it's cr- it kind of it kind of hurts me a little bit. Like I don't listen to podcasts mm-hmm. as much anymore. Now I listen to local ones. Like shout out to Group Chat Chronicles. Like just because I got to support. You know what I mean? Um, and and, and, mm-hmm. and I, I like I like what he's doing. Um, and and other people. Uh, my man's um, all about the hustle. That's a new one coming out. He's he's his is focused on battle rap and stuff like that. Um, you gotta check him out, man. It's called All About the Hustle. And he about to have Geechee Gotti okay. on here, F- fam. He about to do an interview oh, with Gotti, bro. And I'm like, fam, I need. That's what's I need. I need this. Yeah, you need my shit, you know? man. Yeah, that's you know that's my guy. Like, yeah, you can't tell me that. And I'm yeah. like, yo, I'm so I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna try to jump on that live. Um, but yeah, man. So so um, but like Joe Budden and stuff like that. I only catch maybe I might catch 20 minutes here or there, or whatever. Um, so I I don't mm-hmm. really get influenced like because yeah early on I was my my podcast schedule listening was still heavy and so like um, mm-hmm. I felt sometimes I was influenced a little bit by what he was saying and I, I didn't want that I didn't want it to be like the Joe Budden regurgitation podcast you know what I mean like like this is my shit yeah you know yeah, I mean? yeah and, and it, it's crazy because a couple of times I've caught myself like I'm I talked about something but just based on when my shit would come out. I would hear him talking, and I'm thinking like, "Yo, I I talked about that first, so then it made me feel good because like, all right, yo, bro, I'm coming up with original stuff. Um, you know what I mean? I'm I'm getting certain topics when they're when they're on fire right now. I'm trying to implement live, mm-hmm. so like, I'm I'm trying to get more um real time stuff. But um, speaking about <laughs> about things going on, yo, bro, have you heard about this uh the too loud challenge? Challenge? Have you seen any uh? Any of these videos for too me? loud, nah. Too, it, it's like some song, and it'd be like, and then you hear this clapping sound, and they'd be like, "This it's getting too oh, loud." Oh yeah, I be seeing a little. Oh, that's called too loud. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about them twerk. Then basically them twerk videos, the new. Yeah, yeah. Pam, 
Like, yo, man, I've been seeing some fire, bro. <laughs> like, yo. Yeah. Like, I'm like, what? So here, you know what's crazy? Like, yo, I used to have, I used to follow mad women on my Instagram, bro. Yeah, yeah. I had like 5,000. I was following like 5,000. It was all booty and ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Booty, ass, titty, whatever. All that, all that ass shaking. Bro, I just started cleaning my shit up. But I did catch the child challenge. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, that shit is hard. Like, nigga, there was times where I was watching for like five minutes. Like, oh, okay. All right, what's that? Right. And it's, I'm blown away at how comfortable these women are just, Yo, just right, putting nothing but ass on Exactly. We're gonna talk about that in a second. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, like, um, it is, it is crazy. I've been, like I said, I've been seeing some fire. Um, and like you said, mm -hmm. I like what you said because, um, and this is something my man right on Q Live said whatever like a long time ago. And he was just like on some like, yo, fam, like, like he he do he do follow them type of pages, but he was just on some like, mm -hmm. yo, I, don't, I don't I don't like them junk. Like I don't give them likes no more because it's like, yo, they don't need my yeah. likes. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm gonna follow whatever. And like I think it, I noticed that like yeah, when you don't like that stuff, yeah, you don't really see it as much. So my Twitter, I used to have, mm -hmm. I had to clean up my Twitter, my one Twitter because you okay. know back you know we used to we would tweet some retweet some like explicit explicit you know what i mean and, and like and then I, then I started realizing like yeah that's not cool man. like like because you know how that is twitter is the is the craziest of all the apps right like it's the rawest like it and i don't want to i don't want to say too much to like i don't want people to necessarily take that away from, i don't want them to take it away from twitter but but like it's but i had to be conscious of like like yeah, fam, I don't want, I don't want that because I hate that when I'm on the on the joint and then it's some like crazy explicit. You like, like yeah, I mean, you 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 clutching the phone like like uh like you can't even have your kid. I got a son, bro. I can't. You know what I mean, he looking over my shoulder. I don't want him to see nothing like that. I don't want to. You know, I might be at work and I don't want to see you know coworker see. You know what I mean? So like, I I definitely had to clean that up. But too loud challenge is fire. I will tell you that. And we got yeah, that shit is fire. That's fine. So now, now, um, is that something that only single women should be doing, bro? And how would you yeah, feel? You know what? How would you feel if your girlfriend, like if you had a girlfriend, let's just say hypothetical, you had a girlfriend mm -hmm. and she she like, you know, took part in something like that. Or is that or is that something that only single women should be taking part in for real? It's only something me personally, I feel like it's only something that single women should do. Okay. okay. There shouldn't number one. Here's the thing with people, right? And I don't even blame people because I know how people grew up. I'm grown now. I, I see how a lot of people grew up. They ain't got no choice. Um, yeah. A lot of people, they just don't. A lot of people have never made a commitment in their life. Mm. Most people, most so you got people 30 something years old. They've never been committed to anything ever. Damn. I mean, even their own religion. You know how many people fall in and out of religion? They in and out of relationships. They in and out of gym. They in and out of the gym. They go to the gym for two days, leave. Like, motherfuckers have never committed to anything. But yeah, yeah if you were in a relationship, it's disrespectful as hell as a woman. Okay. You gonna go shake your head for everybody to see. Like, nah, man, that's wild. If a but here's the thing though too. Like as a man, yeah. if you see a woman, you shouldn't even be wifeing her. Like, don't okay, go. That don't was, go that's what I was. That's what I was kind of getting at. I was gonna get at that though. Go, go ahead though. Yeah, like, like niggas will really go wife a woman who's doing something when you met her. Like you, you met her. She was doing a too loud challenge. Which and you want to stop her? Like why right. you even look like that? Yeah, I can see yeah. her for a couple weeks. But why you want her like that? Where you want to build with? I've never seen a chick do a too loud challenge. Like, yeah, I'm a wife. Her, yeah, yeah, she go. <laughs> like, what is that? You know what I mean, bags. Like, yeah. Like, and that's, so that's what I was going. That's what I was going to say. Like, even though it's appealing to the eye, like does does seeing a woman do that does that drop her stock to you? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. But and you know the sad part. The flip side of that, there's a lot of women who they really don't want relationships. Like, okay. They really just want to deal with one nigga because it's like a euphoric feeling that they get um, yeah. when they got a dude. So they're not really trying to lock down one dude. They just trying to get a dude. When it don't work, that's cool. She got another one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but so, then uh, the, the problem I have with that is that they really be wanting them whole relationship type, you know, expectations from, from them situations because that's the thing, right? If you're going to be acting like that and if I decide to... So, all right, fuck it. Because cause when when I see that, I'm thinking, I think I know what time it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. With, with that woman, whatever. So, so I'm going to get at you. But then when I'm trying to hop, I got to, I still got to do, I still got to like wine and dine you. I still got to, yeah, we still yeah. got to go out on dates and like, but it's like, yo, like, why do we got to do like, because, because I feel like that, 
that's when the emotions get involved when we doing all this extra i'm not saying we can't have no fun ever like and because mm -hmm. like, i'm not no i'm not cheap like that when it comes to win. Yeah. i'm not like one of them dudes is like i don't i don't spend money on the first day like i'll pay for it i don't care like i'm I, i'm yeah. okay i'll be all right like you mm -hmm. get you could get a free meal out of me whoop yeah yeah like whoop oh you got you flexed on me you got a free <laughs> meal like i feel like yeah. i feel like if you don't come back or like if you burn, I feel like you lost out. Like if 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 you, if this don't go if this don't go past that first day, you lost. Mm -hmm. like I didn't lose. Yeah, you know I mean that's yeah, how yeah, I look yeah. at it. Yeah, you know I mean <laughs> so so like you know I mean like I don't know. So that, yeah, does that that so you saying that does drop their stock or whatever? Oh yeah, absolutely, okay. absolutely. And they just I like going out. Okay. I like hitting comedy clubs. I like I like hitting the R and B show. I don't mind. Like check us out. She got be doing a two loud challenge. I don't mind dating her. Yeah, like if yeah. we're dating and we dating and fucking and we having a good time, yeah, then we can do that forever. I like yo, I've been lasting all I've been in situationships for like over the past decade. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I, I, I young fabulous over here. Young fabulous over here. You know what I mean? That's funny. <laughs> so yeah, I'm on for it, but just don't be asking for no relationship. That's all. But they can't they can't accept dates and going out. And just fucking, they can't accept it. After about a month or two, maybe yeah. three, she's hitting that. Yo, what are we? And it's like, come yeah. on, man. Yeah, like, the what they, the what are we? Yeah, like you know what it was. Yeah, you know I mean, like you, you doing too. Yeah. Like I, I allow. You know I mean, you be on the on the gram. You be doing the thirst mm -hmm. traps, whatever. Like, and I think that's you know, I might think it's sexy, whatever. But like, yeah. So, yeah. so all right. So then to pivot that right. So just say you do decide to wife a woman that that is an avid twerker. That is a you know that is a two live challenger, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Would 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 there be an expectation for her to eventually stop? Is that fair to expect a woman that's already participating like and stuff like that? Is it fair to expect her to stop? Like, what do you what do you think about that? Well, first of all, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> but if a dude does do it, I feel like yeah, you crazy. You crazy for <laughs> make. Stop trying to change people. Yeah, yeah. The most you should ever do with somebody, I feel like, like I'm going to use the basketball analogy. The most you should ever do is like give someone an alley you, like lead, like lead them a certain way. Okay. You know what I'm saying, okay. Um, and see if they take the bait. If they don't take the bait, you gotta let it go. Okay. I mean, I do a couple chicken alleys. You know what I mean, alley oops, and just to see if they took it, they ain't go for it. I was like, ah, you know what I mean, turnover. Man. Yeah, uh, turnover, and, right? Russell Westbrook, like yeah. <laughs> Westbrook, <laughs> Westbrook, like that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you're a Lakers. You're you are a Lakers fan too, aren't you? I was when Kobe played. Oh, you're not. Oh, you stopped being a Lakers fan. Yo, I follow players. I ain't gonna lie. I follow Kobe and I follow Chris Paul. Okay, respect. Oh, I mean, oh, so you like Phoenix? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, I I fuck, I fuck with Paul, man. I, like he's a, he's a legend, man. But um, so so all right, that's good. And I think you kind of answered this last question about that, and we wrap that up. Um. Do you think, and maybe not, but do you think women think about the outcomes of actions like that? Like, like doing, you know, do they, do they think about that ahead of time and, and think that they might be changing the perception of men or do they care? Like, cause, cause to say that they don't care, that means that they, maybe they did think about it and they just, that's their decision. Like they don't care. But like, do you think they even like consider it and, and then be wondering why they in these certain cycles? I don't know. You know, it's a tough one, man, um, because I heard a lot from the horse's mouth. I mean, okay. one thing about them is they can't help themselves. That's what people need to understand. Okay. When, when, first thing when you need to understand, they cannot help themselves. Number one, they don't have the strength that we got. Okay. They don't, okay. They don't have the strength that we got. They play by different rules. So women, they need to be social to survive. So okay. if a whole bunch of women are doing something, she has to do it. She can't walk alone. She ain't no man. See, what men, we're not social beings. And we're much more barbaric. So we don't like each other. And yeah, we don't really yeah. be caring about niggas. We, usually when we see another dude, we want to fuck him up. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to be like him. Yeah, like, yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah, like, for there real. is always that, that, that natural. Like, it's always, even in your head, there's always a competition in your head. Like, like yeah, you, know, yeah. you, size, you size people up, you know what I mean? Or you just, yeah, you know, yeah. you know, like, all right, yo, I, you know what I mean? If it come to that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but women, I don't necessarily yeah. think off the rip, they're not thinking that. But yeah, you go into a room with men, you gotta, you gotta do that. That's just how we, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. 
Yeah. You're right. And then with women, like, see, here's the thing. They know they can't survive on their own, so okay. they will never go against it. A woman will not go against whatever's popular or whatever her, her friend group is doing. She can't do it. And that's another thing, too. Women are barbaric as fuck, but passive aggressively. Women are the biggest bullies. They will bully the shit out of each other. So yeah. if one bitch don't fall out, if, if this bitch don't go shake her ass, they're going to talk about her as soon as she leave the room. And they're going to they gonna fire her ass up as soon as she leave the room. And I'll be yeah. like, oh, this bitch, she thinks she too good. And da, 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 da. Yo, so they kind of, they, so what's really, what niggas really got to do, you got to focus on who she hang with and focus on who's their influences. If she hanging with the, if she running with the wrong crowd, you kind of got to leave it alone because you ain't going to be able to pull her away from them. Like, Thanks. yeah. I mean, and they always think, too, this is something that, I mean, you, I'm pretty sure you probably heard it. Women always talk about this. What? They're always looking towards the day when a man leaves them. Okay. And when that man leaves, she knows that the only thing she's going to have left is her friends. Okay. So that's why they can't break away from the friend. That fear of being with a man, he might leave. The friends ain't never going to leave. They, they, that's like a girl code. They don't break up. They yeah. don't split up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, they, 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 it's wild, bro. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, to sum, I think to sum all this up, I think, you know, it's not cool. You know what I mean? Like, if you are in a, in a relationship, you know what I mean, to be doing this type of stuff. Yeah. Um, I, I think that it does drop a woman's stock, you know what I mean, when she's doing it. And I think it's so inadvertent. Like, I, I don't even think they realize half the time. Like, like you know, now you, even though, you know, there is a thing, you know, they call it like slut shame and stuff. And that's not, I'm not doing that. Like, I, like I'm not blank. Like, if something, because that's, I think that's more for like negative things. If something, you know, bad happens yeah. to a woman, then, yeah. you know, I'm, and I'm not into that. But, you got to understand, like, the stuff that you put out there, you know what I mean? Like, you are given a perception. You you, you know what I mean? Men want, yeah, that woman that might be very desirable, but, like, nobody can really have her. You know what I'm saying? And you giving that access, you you doing it for a reason. Like, and, and when women say they're doing it for themselves, well, it's still that it's still that you still need that external validation for whatever whatever it is. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like it is for yourself. It's selfish because you need that so bad. You need all these uh, like these unnecessary eyes, these unnecessary uh, conversations. Yeah, you know I mean, because that's all that that's all it is. I, I'm a man. I've been yeah. I've been in women DMs that I you know I mean you yeah. you you know do the heart you know, you react to stuff like so a woman like mm -hmm. that's that's why we don't that's part of why we don't look in women's phones you know what i mean because it's like yeah, I, yeah. Definitely. I, I ain't got time for that i i don't got time to be fighting a whole town bro like you know what i'm saying like now here's the thing again like if she if she take it too far yeah you know i mean again if i fuck if i find out it's your loss is it like i, I mean it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. no skin on my back like i'm not I ain't one of them. I'm yeah. not one of these, you know, wild dudes that's gonna mm -hmm. like it's over. Like you ain't, you ain't gonna come. In, you ain't coming back. Yeah, it's, and, and it's so funny you said that because that, that's something that it takes niggas mad long to learn. I ain't gonna lie. It took me to I was probably like 25, so I learned like nigga, you cannot be trying to fight people over no bit or no over no woman. And I mean, yeah. you can't. Be people. I just always be trying to fight somebody. Like <laughs> like nigga, I was crazy. Yeah, you but, was. Um, you was. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> um, and then yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if um. I, I think yeah, if you do decide to wife up a woman like that, whatever comes after that is on you, bro. Like I just, yeah. I just feel like like you can't, and I don't, I don't think it's fair for you to expect a woman to stop. You know what I mean, and that's mm -hmm. the problem. Like, and me and Mary Johnny talked about that. Um, just like date the people that you like. Don't try to change people. And I think yeah. that's that's what happens. A lot of men, and men, men are guilty of that a lot. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. we, you know they they. You know, they, I don't even want to say it like, you know, wife, uh, turn, try to turn a hole to, you know what I mean? Housewife, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like, but like, and that's real. And it's like, yo, fan, don't do it. Like, don't do it. Let, let, yeah. her, let her, you know what I mean? Unless, unless she's, unless it's, unless it's some whole shit where she's really genuine and she don't want to do that. No, that's different. Yeah. But we talking about the woman, the women that like, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta check them for the stuff that they post. Like I shouldn't have to check yeah. you for nothing. You should, it should be mm -hmm. a respect there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Cause they oh, that's what we talk about. That's what I was. Oh, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, like, even with me, I remember me. You had this conversation. I told you how I don't play around as much on the internet no more. Nah. You remember back in the day, I used to be wilding out on this motherfucker. Wow, wow, this guy. Is wild. It came to a point where you gotta grow up, bro. To to <laughs> an extent, like to an extent, like I'm still crack jokes. I'm still trying to have a good time. But like, bro, I mean. I literally used to agitate everybody, bro. Like, yeah, you was like, like a, you was a fun, you was a tr like that troll, but like when trolling was funny, like a little bit. Yeah. Like, fam, remember when on Twitter 
when you could when you could do the retweet and you could change what they said. <laughs> Oh, Yo, hey, that hey. was the greatest era of social media of my life. Hey, that yeah. was so fun. Like you, you know what I mean? Because yeah, back in the day when you hit the retweet, their whole tweet like it wouldn't be a file. It would be like it wouldn't be a post. You know what I mean, link or whatever. Yeah, it would be their literally their words, and you yep. could change what they and then so it make it look like they said some crazy shit. Like whoa, uh, like yeah, <laughs> that shit was fun. And subtweeting, remember oh, yeah. subtweet and all that. Oh yeah, that used to be crazy. That was a I used to have like five combos going on at the same time. It should that be wild. Was the era, yeah, yeah, and it's only yeah. good like because subtweeting did have a negative context because people would like, but no, like it was there was a fun spirit in it when when it was, when mm -hmm. it was active, but. Yeah, and so yeah, man. Yo, what do y'all think, audience, man? Like, what, how y'all feel, brothers? How you feel, ladies? Yeah, you know I mean, do you do you do you disagree with us? Do you feel like, yeah, you know I mean, it's your body. You do whatever you want. Yeah, you know I mean, or do you feel like, do you understand that, like, you know, what I mean, you what you put out there is what you kind of gonna get back. You know, what I mean, like, yeah, you can, and and that's the thing too. You know, just because a man want to lay up with you. That don't mean he want to be with you. You know what I mean? Like that just though, I, you know. And that's what you put you putting out there that a man want to lay with you. You know what I'm saying on that. So, um, sp all right, switching the topic up, and and again we might get a little spicy here, but so I seen this I seen this other tweet, man, and it was like uh, it was asking guys, it was like, are, are there any women that you would not date based on her profession? And uh, what do you think, man? Because I got some, I got some obvious ones, like obviously um, sex workers of any type. I don't think I yeah, can yeah, yeah. seriously date you. Like you know, again, we might have some fun, but um, yeah, I can't date. I cannot date nobody in law enforcement. Nope. Like at, really, at any level, because even like even like a probation officer, parole officer, I just feel like you're part of the system. I don't, I can't trust you. Yeah. Like I, I can't trust you out here. And yeah. uh, and and I, I cannot date no psychologist, bro. Yeah, nope. You ain't, about, you ain't about to be anything that I, you know, I disagree with you. Don't be thinking it's mommy, daddy. Like, I, maybe I do have something going on with me, but like, yeah, yeah, you ain't yeah. about to be psychoanalyzing me every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what you think, man? Like, for me? So it's funny. I actually had a situation. I remember I was in the military. Um, well, it's not even that big of a situation, but it's going to add to your point. So okay. I, won't date, I won't date no woman that has access to destroy me. If you have easy access to destroy me, I won't date you. So, prime example, I was in the military, right? I bagged this joint at the club. Um, she was all right looking. Um, and, but, you know, we started talking and whatever. We made plans for the next day right there at the club, at the let out. Okay. The next morning, we was texting and shit. And um, we was chopping it up. And then she told me that her dad was a sergeant major. A sergeant major, he's like a top-ranking person in the military. Okay. And now here's the thing. I, I responded back to her like once or twice and I just blocked her number. Um, and just cut her <laughs> off completely because here's the thing women don't take L's, she's not going to accept the fact that I don't want to be with her. Who knows? She just might go tell her dad about her, her dad try to, I don't know, he might he might try to hurt me or something, yeah, like hurt yeah. my career. So, like, nope, I just cut her off. So, yeah, any woman that the, any woman that has easy access to destroy me, so for law enforcement, you work, you're a lawyer, I ain't fucking with no lawyers, nah, nah, yeah, um, nah. because you probably got lawyer friends, you probably go. You might try to come up with ways to build a case on me or try to get me because women that's how women get a lot of their money, like court and shit. Nope, I'm not oh, playing with no lawyers. Yeah, yeah, um, okay, okay. Sex workers yeah. or um anybody who's like anybody who has to be mixy. And okay. that's just because I don't like people that much. Okay. But it's like so like say a woman's a musician, she yeah. has to mix she has to be mixed. She has to make music, she gotta deal with producers, she gotta deal with songwriters. Um Record labels, other artists. It's like, bro, I'm not dealing with that. Okay. Um, okay. okay. Also, too, like, I would say, like, an event planner, because uh, once again, she got to deal with all these people. Like, anybody who has to be mixing, I want a chick that just got a regular job. Go yeah. deliver mail. Like, be a mail woman. <laughs> like, I mean, be a mail carrier. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Yeah, like, a, I mean, uh, I said nurses are cool. Yeah, nurses are cool. Okay. Yeah, they're cool. Okay. All right. Um, um yeah so yeah it's probably, it's probably a lot of different but yeah definitely those professions for me are it's like nah this all like i'm i'm trying to think yeah you write the mixy stuff i don't know though because like you know now i'm you know i'm kind of like in the media like i i wonder what it's like i kind of wonder what it's like to be you know but obviously yeah, I mean, at, at our level, necessarily probably it's still mixy but i don't know if it's at i don't know what it would be like you know like if i 
you know, if if ever my dream came true and I could marry Maya, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder what that would be like. <laughs> but um, and you know what's funny though, too? So here's the thing, right? This is your lane now, right? I know a lot of content creators, they end up, they make good couples. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. They usually make good couples. So who knows? That might be your lane, you know what I mean? Because you're in it. No. But like, you're a nigga, you're not a content creator. But your woman is, it's like, fam, she got to she gotta go to all these events. Yeah. She going to be booked every weekend. She got to yeah. do all this stuff. It's like, man, I don't want to be sharing my woman with everybody. Yeah, I think, I think, I mean, yeah, if you're, if you are a content creator, of some sort, like y'all can, if y'all are a good couple, y'all could probably leverage opportunities for each other. And that's what makes, yeah. that's like the, the power couple. Like, that's the thing when people want to compare yeah. these Jay Z, Beyonce, like, well, you don't live a J. Well, obviously you don't have any money but you don't even live their kind of life yeah, yeah, yeah. Like maybe the reason why they work so well is because of what they do you know i mean for i don't know maybe yeah part of it because yeah because they like yeah it would be kind of messier if if uh because jay-z can't he can't do too much out here you know what i mean like mm. and, you know and we we just seen some like drama with allegedly with with meg and all that you know what i mean he said rocky so oh yeah 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 but apparently i don't i heard it was a rumor i heard, heard that she didn't really mess with him like he didn't but he, you know it's asap rocky he, he probably did but he probably you know he probably got the yeah. gag order on him but uh <laughs> that's crazy. crazy all right so so pivoting that man so women that we wouldn't date you know what i mean based on profession man it just led me to think about fucking craziest movie i seen man just the other day man last week and i told you to watch it and i haven't heard no one talk about it yet and i'm like yo like no yeah. like, i haven't heard no reaction i'm like and i i did say something on twitter real quick like yo this shit was crazy but like i didn't get into it because so, nowadays too i'll I be trying to save what i, what I want to say about stuff i save it for here but yeah. so there's a movie new movie it's a hulu original all right so y'all can catch it like whenever y'all want um it's called deep water Starring Ben Affleck and uh, little 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 Rail is in it. Um, the dude that he played, um, he one of the brothers yeah. from Ray Donovan. He played Bunchy on Ray Donovan. If y'all if y'all watch that show, um, Bunchy's in it. Um, but then I don't know the female actress, whatever. So anyway, just to give you y'all, she the, bad as shit. Who the wife? Yeah, she bad as shit. I don't know her name. She, yeah, she is. She's she's fine. She is. She's she's good. She's good. Um, but I think some of her her character kind of makes her like, Ugh, like, I, like, oh, I could not, you know. So, so Deep Water, um, and spoiler alert, you know what I mean, just give a quick like recap or like a quick synopsis of it, you know what I mean. Then we're gonna get into some questions, man. But like, um, so Deep Water, it's about this guy. He he's he must is he a billionaire? He he got a lot of money. He's well off. Yeah, he got money. He got money. He's some sort of engineer. I know that. Yeah, so he, he touching two hundred. Yeah, he he's he's got bread. Like he money is not an issue for this guy. And it seems like he's yeah. dating a woman that's a little that's a little bit younger than him, right? She's younger, right? Mm hmm Yeah, so he's married. I would say at least ten years. You think yep. yeah, probably about ten years. So he's married to this woman, they got a kid, whatever, and yo, this woman has this upset like i don't it's it's almost like she's in a it's a it, like a one-sided poly relationship or something like that like you know what i mean like like yeah. she is fucking other dudes like she is ha like she is having relations in the house in their crib like the the the, the <laughs> social in within their social scene yeah you know i mean the friends know about it whatever however um if it, like there's this underlying plot because it's a psychological thriller so it's like she's making like she's doing it in front of his face he's expressed that he doesn't like it whatever but she keeps doing it like she can't even stop doing it like she just like she just can't stop herself and then but it's funny because then like these boyfriends that she has they end up they end up start getting they end up dying like one way or the, another and he he creates this image that like maybe he's killing these dudes and then you know, we won't get into too much, whatever, but just kind of like, yo, fam, as you're watching that movie, just first, just general reactions. What were you thinking, bro, when you're watching that, yo? First of all, you know, so I want to touch on something you said. So you said you ain't know the movie was out? Fam, Ben Affleck, one of my favorite actors. I did not know he had a movie out. Really? But, um, so as far as, yeah, I didn't know. Um, but yeah, as far as the movie, bro, within the first five minutes, I was just like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Like the movie starts out hot as shit. Yeah, it's like yo, nigga, what are you doing? Like, I think I, I think they was in a party, 
and his wife was pr- prancing around with some other dude, or grabbing him by the arm, yeah. dancing with him, twerking on him. Yeah. I'm like, what? Wait, what? Like, so, <laughs> this is did crazy. You Everybody, any, did you see any trailers of it though? Or no? You I seen know? nothing. Oh, so yeah, so it it, mm-hmm. it caught you crazy because I watched it. I watched it with somebody, and they didn't see any trailers, so I knew that she was a cheater. But I didn't know to mm-hmm. I, I didn't know how it went down. So like, yeah, if you didn't watch the trailers, you're going in like. What the f- yeah I, I can because I, the person I was watching with they was like they was like whoa 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 what is she doing and I'm like well I didn't know that yeah. I was like but I don't know what happened I don't know nothing else about the f- film whatever yeah. um but yeah she's yeah like they going to the dinner party whatever she's getting dressed and she and yo from the beginning though no remember the opening scene is right he's coming into the crib and then like she's going up the stairs and then he's going up the stairs mm-hmm. but then they go into separate rooms and then you're like I'm like. What does that mean? Oh yeah, yeah. I see. I, I don't think I paid too much attention to that, but yeah. And then, like you said, like she's going in there and she just prancing around with this dude that she knows. And then I'm thinking, like, ah, this dude is like a Your friend. Yeah, like what is he doing, bro? Like, is you a simp out here? You, you know what I mean? There's other words we could use, but I don't want. I don't know if that's like good. Yeah, yeah. You know, YouTube, but, um, but yeah, yeah like, yeah, you know I mean, so like, what the heck, yo, like, like. That shit was crazy. Like, like the whole time I'm watching it, bro, I'm just like, yo, nah, it couldn't, it could, yeah, right. Like, it couldn't be me. It couldn't be me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't be, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Like every every scene, I'm yeah, right. Yeah, right. Like nah, yeah. nah, nah. nah. And, and yo, Ben Affleck, like you know, because you know Ben Affleck. See, like he's Ben Affleck. I know he's a character, but it's like, come on, bro. It's Ben Affleck. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like he got J Lo, like I know, and and I know that's not related, but it's like, yo, what the fuck, like, yo, he's playing this role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so what's, what's, now? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, uh, go ahead. I will say, well, here's the thing, though. There, if you notice, there's a certain. So he had a certain type of. Um, he, you could see, he was clearly awkward socially. Uh-huh. So as a man, like, yeah, he was the man. Like he looked tough. He be catching bodies. And he's smart as shit, got money, but he's socially awkward. Okay. So he and he emotionally unintelligent. So he don't even know what he feel. Like like he, that's that's kind of like the uh, <laughs> he don't know what he feel. He knows something ain't right, but he don't know what it is. Yeah. He don't know how to stop it. But man, that nigga was a stepper though. He be yeah, stepping. He ain't play. He ain't play. Like so so she kept at yo. But the thing is though, all right. After after the after one of your boyfriends dies. How you that that's the the audacity of this woman. How you hopping on to a new man? Like how you, you know what I mean, and how you get in arguments with me about me not liking this, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. well, that, that's what it was just like it was crazy. So like, like, like let's get into some some stuff with this, man. Like dig into it. Cause I yeah. again I want y'all to see the movie. It there is like a, a bit of a like, so we didn't give you too much, but that's just the gist of it. This you got this cheating ass wife. And she's doing it in front of her husband's face. I mean, and but just yeah. know that some of these dudes don't make it throughout the film. You know what I mean? But there yeah, is like, there is a oh, wild, yeah, yeah. there is a wild underlayer that that gets into it. But one thing that she says, and there's a comment that she makes, whatever about him, like, and because she's foreign, she's I think she's Italian, right? Like she's from Italy or she's from a different country. I ain't know where she's from, but she's and she she and she makes a couple different comments, and she says. Um, stuff about Americans. So, like, I, it made me wonder: Are Americans simply just too uptight on how we approach and maintain relationships? Like, are we just too stuck up, like, in our ways? Like, because she made it seem like, oh, in Europe, like, it's free love. Yeah, you know I mean, everybody just doing whatever they want. Yeah, you know I mean, is that is that like an American thing that like the values that we hold and stuff like that? Let me tell you something. I know mad people from mad different countries. It's the complete opposite. So I don't know what she talk about in that damn movie, but um, in real life, Americans, we are the loosest motherfuckers in the world. We are loose as hell. Like, really? Yeah, we're mad loose. Um, first off, oh yeah, compared to some, most, yeah, like Middle Eastern countries that have very like patriarchal, like yeah, we are probably like yeah. Yeah, like we don't let our women do this, we don't let our women do that. Like even Russia, Russia, Ukraine, um. Uh, even a lot of Caribbean countries, like women don't, women can't just. I mean, women can't just move around like they would. They 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 be moving here. There ain't no male friends. You're not you're not going you're, as a woman. You're not going to date no Russian man and have a male friend. 
You ain't gonna date no Ukrainian man, African man, none of that. Americans, we are mad loose with how we socialize, especially in the dating world. So yeah, it's a it's a complete opposite of what she's talking about. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. She was getting away with yeah, she was, was getting crazy. away with murder, but, really. Yeah, I mean, like yo, word. <laughs> and you know what's so crazy? This happens like this happens so often here in America. Yeah. And um it also so what she was doing when she was she basically setting all these niggas up. Yeah. She know her nigga don't play. Yeah. She know he's stepping. And women don't care. They, yo, you seen the movie where she um where she said something like she was trying to pull the emotion out of him because he yeah. don't show no emotion? Yeah. Women, if a, you don't give a woman enough emotion, they'll pull it out at you at any cost, even if it means another nigga. Because uh-huh. she just want to see you go. She yeah, want to see you go. Yeah, yeah. She want to see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, that's, to- that's so toxic, bro. Like, what the hell? Bro. That's sick. Yo. That's sick. Like women are out. Like women are really doing that out here. Cause I don't know. Maybe. Oh yeah. I, it's, I, I, it's I nice, maybe, maybe I have a nice balance of emotions. Yeah, you know I mean, cause like you know, but like yeah. Cause I, I love. I'm very affectionate. Whatever you know. So maybe I don't have to do it. But yeah, like, yeah. Yo, it's like women is really like they'll yeah yeah like like we said the twerk videos the stuff like that they they'll they'll put that bait out there just to get their like that's sick, yeah. bro. Yeah, yo, check this out. That girl in the in the movie, I know that archetype so well. Um, I got <laughs> I got associates that's like this. Oh. I got associates that take pride in being like this. Really? Like, yeah. Oh my. Yeah. God, really? I mean, I had dealings with some women like this. Nah. Um, I got homeboys no that got friends like. like wait, 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 how? Time out. You had dealings with women like this. Like, t- how far did those yeah. things go? Well, put it like this. There's a certain situation I had where a girl, she told me out her own mouth. She said she spent years trying to, she said she, said she spent years trying to uh, get niggas to get at me. Like, or try to get me to get at, like she was trying to bait me into getting at niggas. What? Like, because she said she just wanted to see me go. Nah. She just wanted, nah. she was like, yo, I ain't never seen nobody. She said, I ain't never seen nobody catch on fire like you. Like, I just want to see you go. What? Motherfucker, motherfucker trolling you. Straight up, yeah, it that's, happens. Nah, that's sick, bro. Like that's that's man crazy. Like you know I mean, yo, I got I know some chicks in the military that I'm cool with. They used to do this to their husbands. Man, like oh, matter of fact, I told a story about this on my Instagram. Um, my barber, I had a barber that was out here. Um, he told me his wife used to do that. I had to tell him. I said, yo, bro, what? you have to leave her alone. Yeah, yo, like it's common. Like it's it's very common. Like. Yo, that's yeah. crazy, bro. That's crazy. So, like, although men, like, you know, when it comes to, like, infidelity and things like that, right? Like, mm-hmm. men are definitely, um, at least around here in our parts, they're they're caught, it feels like they're caught up at a higher rate. Um, and definitely get more scrutiny for cheating. Yeah, you know I mean, like, like, granted. Oh, yeah. I think the, the consequence is, is bigger <coughs> for women to cheat. But, like, but like mm-hmm. we get more of the, ah, 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 like, what, men ain't nothing. Men ain't shit, whatever, whatever, right? Um, Mm -hmm. but could you, but just in general, do you think that like men have the audacity, like have the audacity of that woman? Like, like, do men move like that? Like, like, like granted, they, there might be serial cheaters out there, but like, are they doing that? Mm -hmm. Nah, we can't, we can't because number one, yeah, why can't we do that? Here's the thing. Now, here's the thing, too. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I never cheated. So, <clears throat> I'm only gonna speak from second hand and third hand. Okay. I know a lot of people who cheat. Okay. And um, here's the thing. The side chick always catches feelings. Yeah. And then, if you slip up and get the side chick pregnant, she ain't getting rid of it. Yeah. She ain't getting rid of that shit. You can forget that. Um, so, yeah, niggas get caught up too easy. Um, on top of that, the chick might catch feelings. See, a man ain't really gonna catch feelings for a side chick. He might lie to her and tell her he got feelings just yeah. to keep her on at bay or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. she's absolutely gonna catch it. And when she catch it, it's a wrap. Damn. Now, see, a dude on the other hand, a dude that's playing the side nigga role, he is never gonna love this woman. He ain't never gonna like her. He ain't never gonna trust her. So yeah. they can get away with all types of shit. I mean, um, but yeah, man, we don't got that. We don't got that type of leverage. Yeah, as I say, like I don't even know. I, yeah, that. The situation could not well if if it wasn't reverse, yeah, they wouldn't they wouldn't maybe 
they might harm try to harm the women but like they definitely might like i i think too it couldn't be in reverse because that your woman will will hurt you bro like yeah you know i mean like i would not put yeah, yeah, yeah. i would not put that past anybody and we we've heard of other wild cases you know what i'm saying and yeah, uh, yeah. yeah so i don't even think like but she just had this audacity about her just to like just do that whatever and i'm just like what the heck like i i really couldn't i couldn't imagine it the other way man but definitely a good movie um like i said yo y'all gotta watch it man like see that ending man and just i mean so so just in in general like do you think like did to me when i looked at it like the opening scene right was that like or the last scene the closing scene wasn't that like that felt like the same as the opening scene to me like was that the same thing like was like how long have they been doing this yeah you know i mean like like and and, and is it gonna yo. end, or is it just gonna keep going so first off, yeah, the, the clip watched the the first fifteen and then the last ten or whatever. Because I remember you you said that in the text. I was like, damn, I I, I can't remember the actual uh, the link that you were trying to make. So yeah, I was like, damn, yeah. I forgot to watch it. Um, okay, but yeah. Okay, okay. But one thing about Ben Affleck, I don't know if you know this, he writes and directs his own movies. He um, so a lot of his movies, yeah, yeah, his movies be having weird endings all the time. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, that shit was weird. That was weird how it dropped off. Yeah, it, yeah, it was weird because uh, some people might feel like, oh, you know, because I, I think a lot of people they would be wanting all the the ends tied at the end, but it's like, nah, it was good. Yeah, it had yeah, you yeah. thinking though. It had you thinking like, oh my god, like this is like I would not want to be in no marriage like that, bro. Like, I, get me out of that. Yeah, I mean, I could not. Yo, and this also goes to show too. This, this is funny because it just shows that like, yo, she, you know how she didn't care about, she didn't care about none of these male friends. Yeah, she didn't care that he was killing them or, <laughs> or he's holding them down. Like she just leading them to the damn, uh, the damn line. Uh, what do you call it? The, the slaughterhouse. She leading yeah, the slaughterhouse. Yeah, slaughterhouse. yeah, yeah. She just, yep. She just leading them right. It's like line. man, these just ain't shit. But it's crazy too, cause like she, it, it seemed like she wanted to leave, but then that daughter, like his daughter, is like she's a rider for her dad. Yeah, I mean she she rock with her. Yeah, dad. I mean like, um, and really that's her best situation that she got. You know what I mean, like you wouldn't be even living this life you know I mean? and that's the thing too i wonder like if you have money like that like how do you once you have everything how do you like i mean i because obviously she wasn't getting enough out of this man you know what i mean like the money didn't do enough yeah. you know I mean? like you you gotta i guess i don't know y'all gotta have a deeper connection like i don't know it just makes you they need emotion uh, okay emotion okay. yo women need to go on a emotional cycle every day Every day, they need to be happy, sad, confused, and excited, and sad and so mad. Is that why, is Every that day, why, is that why sometimes they be liking these street niggas? Because you know some of these niggas be emotional, yeah. like oh, like you know, yeah. turn up, like yeah. They, yo, fam, a woman will be mad if a woman don't get to see you mad. She gonna get mad. Yeah. yeah. If she don't get to see you sad, she gonna get mad. <laughs> like. <laughs> they, <laughs> Yo, I've heard this out the horse's mouth. I had plenty of motherfuckers. Do you not care? Why? Why aren't you like? Yeah, why, you don't I, fucking I, love I, me. I've had a woman like ask me why I wasn't crying in the situation. I'm like, what? what was like, like I'm supposed to cry? Like, yeah. I'm supposed to cry? Like, whatever. I mean, yeah. I, it ain't gonna lie. Like, I remember having like, <laughs> like getting in trouble with my mom, and like, and like, you know, when I was older, and like, she thinking like I'm supposed to be a mo like. It was just like I accepted the consequences. She's like, "Oh, you don't care, you don't care," and I'm like, "Mom, like, what the? I'm supposed to be crying like a little, like I'm eight years old. Like, all right, I, I yeah. fucked up. My bad. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what you gonna do? Like, that's a classic. That's funny, man. That's funny. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, check that out, man. Audience, man, tell me what y'all think about that, man. If y'all if y'all checked out Deep Water, um, on Hulu, uh, starring Ben Affleck, man, what y'all think about that film, man? Uh, would, would you? Like what? What you doing to Shorty, man? If if you was in that relationship, what you what, what's happening to Shorty? I'm, and that's for the audience, man. So, um, yeah, man. And then uh, one like I guess major last topic, I guess, or you know, kind of get into it, man. So we we talked a little bit, touched on it, um, in the beginning, man. How your your life has kind of changed a little bit, man. You kind of going through a, a nice transition here, um, and yo. So one big thing though was that um, you were able to to sell your first property, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, so clap it up for you. Bro. Oh yeah, clap it up for you, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't want 
you know, I, I don't necessarily, I don't want people all in your pockets or nothing like that. But, uh, yeah, but no, yeah. man, you like, you, you did that, whatever, like you, and you, you put all this money into renovating it and it, it was your family home. You know what I mean, you're, you was able to get yeah, yeah. parents, and then, you know, and you moved, like once you got this house, you moved to Dallas and you, you had mm -hmm. this house all renovated and then you, you started renting it out, man. And you know, that, that seems like right now. That seems like that's the 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 dream, right? Everybody wants to. That's one of the dreams, right? But everybody talks about real estate. People talk about house flipping. Mm -hmm. People talk about this, whatever, right? Now you were actually in it, right? You know what I mean? And yo, it's crazy because you know we always hear about these slum lords, right? But like, yeah, I maybe maybe <laughs> after hearing too from you, it's like maybe 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 it's not a slum lord. Maybe there's sometimes there's some slum tenants, or whatever, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a lot of them. Because we wanted to talk about this, but we probably legally we probably couldn't. You know what I mean? Like at the time, like you. Cause yeah. Well, we probably could. I just didn't want to take no chances. <laughs> I just didn't want to take no chances. I was like, I ain't gonna let nothing slow this process up. Yo, because when you was telling me about how this, how this tenant that you had, how that shit went down, and how how all this, how this all this played out, I was like, yo, like it, you showed me just a whole different side. And now, granted, like you know, you, you live and you learn, right? Whatever. But like, mm -hmm. fam, how all these people talking about all this house flipping and all this, and like how easy, like, fam, tell me this: Would you ever do it again? Cause I remember that not for a while. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll flip it. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna hold it and rent. I'm gonna flip it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So, so yeah, you buy a house and and even if you don't renovate it, you just flip it to the next person or or maybe you do yeah, renovation. Yeah, I'm getting that. So you you would be yeah. on more of the wholesale type side. You you don't. Think well, I wouldn't necessarily call it wholesale. Um. Okay. I, I would just say I guess buy it, fix it, and flip it. Wholesale, that's like some other stuff. I don't know how to do that. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, the, fuck, the crazy thing is I actually moved back home just to buy the house. I was mad. I, I, I quit my job just to come back home, yeah. buy that shit. And then, yeah, I thought, I thought it was going to be lit. Man, that shit was horrible. So, um, <laughs> anyway, to get into it, yeah. I had this, yo, check this out. I had this tenant, right? I didn't even know her. I, did, I didn't know this woman from a can of paint, but... Um, Anyway, I cut her a break. I was um I looked out for her because she had like a little messed up situation and um she needed a place she needed a place to stay. Uh she got kicked out of her last spot quickly and um because the dude sold the house. The dude sold the house didn't tell her. So boom, she she applied for my dream. I looked at her age and I, I kinda knew I kinda knew like of her, but I didn't know anything bad. I just saw her around. Okay. Boom. I I, I uh I let her get the I let her get the property, um, and then I even knocked the rent down by like two hundred dollars. Really? Now, first off, this was stupid. Yeah, it was, I was dumb. So you gotta stand. What, what, was and this rent, is a, what was the rent could have been, and then what did you knock it down to? Twelve hundred. You was going twelve hundred for the crib. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? It's a whole house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was fully renovated. Yeah, fully renovated. Um, now here's the thing. Let me tell you how stupid I am, though. Okay. I'm a type of nigga that. I'm a type of nigga that when I'm happy, I do some dumb ass shit. Okay. So like, I'm gonna put a pause on this. I don't know if you remember back in the day, uh, we used to go to Waterway. I used to get drunk. I used to end up buying mad people drinks and shit. Yeah. Because I used to be so drunk. Yeah. And I just be happy. Well, kind of like the same thing happened with this house. I was so happy to finally complete this house and get on to my next joint that when I seen that she was in need, I said, you know what? I got you. You can stay in my spot, and you know what? I'm gonna lower the rent. That was some dumb ass shit. Don't ask me why I did it. I don't know. I just, I just made it up. I just made it up. I said, you know what, fuck. It. I'm gonna take two hundred off. Yeah. And, I, and I'm gonna be honest, yo. I'm feeling myself, like so, like I be just be, I just be doing so good. I don't want other people to do good, boy. This yeah. was the dumbest shit ever. You, because I, I thought about it uh, over the course of a year. I'm like two hundred times twelve. God damn, that's twenty. That's two, over two thousand dollars. I'm like, man, I'm stupid as shit. Damn. But um. Soon as she got in the crib, she in there complaining. She complaining about the light bulb. She complaining <laughs> about <laughs> yo, the crib had new windows, bro. Yeah. She was complaining about the windows. She said, Oh, the window doesn't have a lock on it. Fam, every window had a lock on it. It was brand fucking new. She didn't know how to lock the window. Oh, and but here's the thing: uh... you don't just call up with a complaint. 
She yeah. calls her complaints are threats out the out the gate. She's threatening. Really? She's like, yeah, y'all need to get over here and change this fucking light bulb. You need to put a lock on my window. I can't even go to sleep because my lock ain't on the window. <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, son, she really talked like that. Really? She really talked. Her voice deeper than mine. Her voice mad deep. She be threatening like a motherfucker, oh, bro. That sound awful. But I found it now. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I wasn't getting the phone calls. I had somebody running the show back home. Okay, okay. So, so you know, um, and after she did this a couple times, finally the person told me they was like, "Yo, man, I might need you to have to talk to this tenant because she getting wild. She be making threats. She yeah. mad tough. She mad gangster." And I'm like, "What the fuck? How?" Because I'm looking at her age. She up there in age, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> but she's she be snapping. So I talked to her on the phone, and yeah, she like, yeah, some, some, some. I think you need to lower my rent because you need to do this and you need to work on that. Da da da. She is talking mad, crazy, threatening me, and I'm like, oh my god. I told her, I said, look, fam, I don't even know if you know, I helped you out a lot. Like I was going to charge motherfuckers twelve hundred. I don't even know you. I don't even owe you nothing. You ain't my kin, no nothing. I did that just because, you know, uh, you know what they say, um, all kin folk, all skin folk ain't kin folk. Skin folk. You know what I'm saying? Folk. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I, I thought she was, I thought she was kin folk. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I try to help her out. Finn, that was the stupidest shit in the world. Um, yeah. but yeah, man, she complained about the toilet. She yeah. complained about everything in the fucking world. She lying on me in court. So, <laughs> she yeah, lying. So, so, you know, the judge. What was the so then? What was the the final straw? Like kind of like what? How did how did she like? Was she oh. wasn't there a time period where she just stopped paying her rent? Yeah, but before that, I'm gonna tell you what really made me want to get rid of her. Okay, okay. So she been she been popping shit for a while. Okay. And um, it was when she I guess she um she felt some type of way. Because I guess we ain't come out and fix something right away. Okay. And um, she she just called um, she called my uh property manager up and just started snapping. And um, I guess she did some research and found out who used to own the crib. And she it was my pop's name, right? Yeah, yeah. And then she started talking about how I don't know exactly what she said, but she made some sort of threat like she's about to get at my pops or she's about to pull up on somebody. Oh no! Nah. I don't play that. Yeah, I don't, nah, I don't play that at all. One, can't do that. And, and let me tell you something. One thing about me: if a motherfucker ever threatened me, look, I got a list of everybody who ever threatened me in my life. I still oh, don't yeah, like them to this day. I don't play with no physical threats. Okay. Now, here's the thing: I would never say this. I don't tell people this. I'm gonna wait until we see each other. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, with her, she a tennis. I'm like, you know what? She she getting out the crib right now. Uh, so yeah, we uh we gave her a th- thirty day notice. She didn't get out. We gave her another 30 days. She didn't get out. We took it to court. Oh, yeah. She told me, she said, yeah, you just wanted to take me to court. I ain't going nowhere. I'm like, word. So we went to court. And then um, I won, of course. And then the judge gave her like another 30 days. Um, yo, fam, let me tell you what she trying to lie about, yo. All right, what she trying to This is some funny shit. So, like, I bought a toilet for the crib, right? This was a high-efficiency toilet. Okay. Like the toilet, like it's like one of the best toilets on the market. It, it barely uses any water to flush. Okay. And um, she there was like a leak in the toilet. It was a leak for a couple of days. It was a very small leak. Yeah. Like at most, it might have made the water bill go up a hundred dollars. At maybe at most. Okay. Fam, oh, this girl was in court. Lot, like that's a lot though. Hundred dollars in your water bill, bro. It is. But it's not a lot compared to what she said. All right. Yeah, yeah. But here's the thing. Um. She 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 was in court talking about some yeah. <coughs> She's like yeah, judge. My my water bill was like six hundred dollars. Da 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 da. Yeah right yeah right. Bro, <laughs> from a toilet, from a damn toilet. And and the judge told her. The judge told her. She said, listen, ma'am. I don't know if you know this, but I own a home my myself. My house is much bigger. And she said I had a main line break in my in my house. And she said my my main line when it ruptured. It didn't even cost no six hundred. It's not possible for a toilet leak to come up to six hundred. Yeah. And then yeah, she just had to stop it right there and lie. The chick was still trying to lie, but <laughs> it goes to show how uneducated she was. She lying about not even. It's not even possible. That's you know what I'm saying? Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, man. It was crazy, fam. And yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, so like, so yeah, was there a point where she like, so when y'all was going through all that the proceedings and stuff like that, like was she not paying rent at that point? Yeah, she stopped paying. She stopped paying rent for like three months. 
So she kind three, of three or four like, months. So she kind of was squatting on you, like she was kind of squatting in your house. Yup. Yup. Yep. And then it was like. <laughs> I just talked about that too, bro, with my cousin, man, a couple episodes ago, man. Talked about like a serial squatter. So, like, maybe you think that's like what she does? You think that's what she she's a serial squatter? Like, she she gets into a place and then like kind of makes all these complaints, but then like decides, yeah, I ain't gonna pay no rent, whatever. And then and then like goes, yeah, to, it's kind of kicked out or whatever, and goes to the next. What like? But did she she meet? Did she meet all the criteria like she was supposed to, or did you kind of cut some corners to help her out? Like, because even though she didn't have the money, did you? Bro, cut corners? Is that where you? Here's up? the thing, right? Yeah, I definitely messed up there, right? Uh, but here's the thing: I messed up. I messed up being a duck. You know, this is some, this is some. There's another dude. Um, this is old head in the city that I chopped it up with. He, I don't, I don't say he a man. He told me. He said, "Yo, bro." He said, I'm going to let you know right now, you fucked up already. You made the first mistake that all black people make. He's like, bro, he's like, yo, as soon as you start doing good, bro, stop trying to help people. Oh. Make, he was like, solidify yourself. Solidify yourself first. Stop trying to help people. He said, you just got this shit popping. Like, don't be trying to help people so quick. Like, nigga, build yourself up. And you know what's so crazy? I was like, damn, yo, I did instantly. I instantly thought, yo, let me help her out. So, yeah, I cut mad corners for her. Um, but one thing I did here. You know, the, here's the one thing I did here that I ain't going to front. Like, this one of the another reason I chose her. I heard she keep the house clean. I heard every house she go to, she keep that shit clean. Okay. She don't be breaking shit. And I said, yo, you know what? I'm, I got her. You know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. And like I said, I kind of knew her around. I kind of knew of her. Yeah. Um. And yeah, like I said, she keep the house clean. That's all I really was thinking about. I thought that was the worst thing that could happen. Okay. If somebody fuck up the house. Yeah. Somebody yeah. ruin the carpet and all that. Yeah. But yeah, with her, they like, nah, she bougie. She bougie. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I mean, so, but that was horrible. So. That was horrible. So you had so your first experience in doing this was probably the worst experience you probably could have doing this, whatever. And then so you decided mm -hmm. to just like wash your hands of it. Like wash your hands. And you, mm -hmm. just, you just said, I'm selling the crib, whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. But now you got, you know, now you got a little bit of money and then now you, you're trying to, what, what are you, what's your plans, man? Are you just, are you like a trader now? Are you just like financially trading? What you doing, man? I'm kind of doing a little bit of everything. Um, but as far as the stocks go, I got like a long-term portfolio. Then I got some shit that I be trading here and there. Yeah. And um, there's like, there's like, a, there's two companies that I'm investing in right now. And I think they about to pop soon. Okay. And when they do, I'm gonna double my money. So like the money I made from the crib, I probably like let's just say let's just say 25k. Let's just say let's just 25k that going double for the years out. Okay. So wow. yeah, so I'm, I guess I'm gonna trade that. Okay. I guess I'm gonna trade that um, when it pops. But um, yeah, other than that, I, I trade just enough to give me keep some money coming in. Okay. And then I also got some companies that I hold long term. They pay me dividends and shit. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, so that's good, man. That's yeah. good. So. I mean, I'm happy to see that though. But like, do you have any like advice for people that that would want to get into this stuff, want to be a landlord, want to rent something out? Like, what what are, some, what are some do's and don'ts, man? Like, what 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 game could you give people? Oh my God, I'm damn. I don't even yo. So fuck fuck the tenant. Let's talk about the contractors. Okay. This is you know. So one thing about contractors, most people will never know. They're some of the biggest scammers in the fucking world. Uh, but most yeah. people won't know because until, until you own a house, you ain't got no reason to know what a contractor does yeah, and what they don't. don't. You don't know, know what I'm how much shit costs. You don't know how much wall costs. Like, yeah. I mean, like <laughs> and then you don't know how they move. Mo most contractors, they take a bunch of jobs, they take your money, and then they go fund another job, and then they take their money, go fund another. They're taking like five people's money and funding one job. So they might dip, they might dip on you for two or three weeks. And so you sitting around waiting for your crib to get uh, fixed up, yeah. and you might be waiting for three weeks, maybe even a month. And you and let me tell you, where I fucked up too. So any contractor you go through, anybody, make sure you get their fucking license plate, get their license plate number, so you can track their ass down. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because yo, I got robbed. I got scammed for three thousand. Um, uh, yeah, like I do remember that. Yeah, I had, yeah. Bro. Yo, I lost weight that week. I lost I lost weight for like I lost like twenty pounds, all jokes aside. I lost twenty pounds in two weeks from stress. Cause I had this motherfucker uh just, I ain't never got robbed before. Like this motherfucker took my money and just did it. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm left. I, I had um my whole attic 
was uh, the ceiling was busted out, the walls was busted out, like it was just empty. It was a shell. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I, it was like that for like a whole month and a half because I couldn't find nobody. Um, yeah. Yo, it was crazy. Yeah, and it, yo, it, yo, it took me a whole year to get that house renovated just because I was going through contractor left yeah. and right. I had, and, and they, they stand you up too. So that's another thing. Sometimes they might not take your money. They might just tell you they're going to come out to the house so you can show them what to do. And then when that day comes, they just don't show up. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a whole that's, day. You know, yeah, you was going through that. I do remember that. I do remember that. That was crazy. And you, and, was, yo, you was and what's worse is I was calling off work. Yeah. Bro, I was calling off work just to be home. So I'm missing out on money at work and then missing the whole day of progress because these motherfuckers ain't show up. So yeah, like I went through hell. So my thing is this. Uh anybody trying to get some work done in your career, first off, get some references. For for anybody, um, for anybody you see, get some people ask some people who have somebody do some work. Okay. Um, like I said, get your references. And then like I said, when they show up to the crib, yo, get their license plate. Yeah. Like get so that way you have some way of, of uh tracking their ass down. Um, number two, don't ever pay nobody more than 30% uh up front. Oh, and okay. honestly, I say, and I'll say for real, for real, I'll say 20% for real, for real. Oh. And, it, and yeah, if they don't want to take it, then uh, go, go somebody else, man. Really? Because, okay. yeah, like they, they, definitely, they definitely would dip on you. Yeah, like, like believe they're, that they're, they're funding not only funding jobs, they're probably living off of your money. Like, you know, what I mean, even though they didn't yeah, earn it yet, like, you know I mean, like, nigga, you just did a yeah. consultation and and you take you already <laughs> want 20%. Like, bro, can you do it or not? And then what's the timeline? So, yeah, probably that and probably getting the time, like, yeah, can, can you ever nail down a timeline for sure? Like, all right, it's gonna take this long, or is it does it fluctuate? Like, you can't. <laughs> Like, well, you know, it's going to fluctuate like, depending on how big a job them, is. Yeah, like, can you get them to commit to a specific time frame or no? It's up to them. Yeah. I believe you can. This is my first time. You got to stand. I went in there. I jumped in head first. I ain't asked nobody nothing. Okay. I had listened to a couple podcasts when I was in the military, and I told myself when I got out, uh, I'm just going uh, I'm gonna stack up some bread. I'm going to go cop some shit. I'm going to just go out of head first. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. None of the podcasts told me anything about uh, the contractors being scammers. They told me they told me all types of other shit. They ain't say these niggas be scamming. Uh, uh, but yeah, so I don't know. All I know is this: whatever timeline they give you, be like, all right, well, cool. Well, I'm gonna give you 25 percent. Can you, can you? And then whenever you get done, boom. I'm saying I got the next for you. Okay. But yeah, you definitely, definitely ain't getting half. You ain't yeah. getting a third. Well, you, I guess a third ain't that bad. Is that going to right? Is there contracts for that? Like, like literally, because they're contractors. Yeah. Like, there's so like you could like. Um, if they try to stiff you, you could you could kind of get retribution for that. Yeah, That's good. and you know, so crazy. I actually thought about uh, taking the one joint to court because there was a woman that owned this business. Okay. Um, she came from like an hour and a half away. Really, but um, yeah, and um, <clears throat> I was I was going to her, but here's the thing: time is money. I make too much money doing um other things, and it's like, man, I don't got time. And I still had to get this house done. Yeah. So yeah, it was just like, like they got away, they got away with that little three bands. But it is what it is. I ain't tripping. That's crazy. That's crazy. That shit so, so yeah, so make sure, man, you make sure you uh, y'all you do your due diligence, man. It ain't as you know, just hearing, you know, I kind of, I kind of felt this experience through my through my man's. Yeah, you know I mean, him telling me details, whatever. And it's like, yeah, I'm like, I don't know, man. If I would. One that that never was my interest anyway. Like I never thought like oh you know because it does seem expensive. You know what I mean, um, but you know yeah. I, I know it works out for some people. But you definitely get your references, get your stuff, get your ducks in a row. Make sure you you know uh, know who you working with and uh, yeah man. Like you said, get that license plate number, man. So like, <coughs> all right, man. So we about to we we gonna wrap it up, man. And um, you know right now it's uh, March Madness, and yo fam. I, okay. Bro, I have not watched a single. I, I don't know nothing. This go. I know Duke won last night because you told yeah, yeah, yeah. only because you told me they they would. <laughs> uh -huh. and you said you think Villanova's gonna win it all. So by the time this is out, right, we will have a final four. Okay, we will have a final four. Okay. Um, by the time this episode comes out, and then so who do you think is gonna be in the final four of the teams remaining? Who's so I I go up front to the people watching. I only saw three games, right? I saw Villanova twice, and then I saw I think it was Ohio State one time. Okay. Or yeah, I, I think it was Ohio State. But um, <laughs> just looking at Villanova, I like their squad, bro. Um, 
I don't know who the star player is. I don't know who the star player is, but they well balanced. Like everybody be getting off. Um, and yeah, like everybody be hitting the three, everybody rebounding, playing D. I like the way they play together. So I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna rock with Villanova. Okay. Um, and apparently they were too. So they must have they must have did their thing this year. But there's another team. They might be playing today. I don't know who it was. I saw I saw some no name team from last week. They knocked off of somebody big. Oh. And they had like a little white boy. He was like five foot seven, and he put the dagger in him. And apparently, he was he was killing all tournament. I forgot the name of that team. I'm gonna uh, Google it. Okay. Um. Hopefully, they play this weekend or something. Is it? But I think it might be uh, St. Peter. You talking about St. Peter's? St. Petersburg. Yeah, they they yeah just, yeah St. Peter's. Uh, they just beat Purdue. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They beat Purdue by three. So that was like it wasn't like they blew. They there was like an upset. Like okay. Um, yeah. I think just off of like, I, yo, I don't know what's going on, right? I'm just gonna be like a, the most casual fan right now. Um, let's see, I'm, mm-hmm. gonna pick, I'm gonna pick my final four. It's gonna be all right. So it looks like it's gonna be yeah, Duke. Duke is gonna be Arkansas. Uh, Arkansas. Um, I don't know. We don't know who St. Peter's gonna play. They're gonna play UNC or UCLA. I say. Um, Let's see. Out of that, out of that side, UC, UCLA. We gonna have Villanova, and yeah, with Kansas. Yeah, so that's that's my final four: Duke, <laughs> Duke, UCLA, Villanova, Kansas. And I don't know. I don't know. No, nobody on none of these teams, bro. I don't know nothing. I don't know that. That's that's the final four. I didn't even do a bracket. Um. I don't know, man. It's just crazy, man. Yo, but like, you know what? Real quick, real quick. You know, pivot, talking about basketball, they had they had Kyrie at number one, man. They had Kyrie at number one, most talented player, um, like skill wise. I think I think it's like most skilled, talented. Um, I think Kevin Durant was number two, um, whatever. But like, yo, man, like I know Kyrie is nice, bro. But like, what is the what is the Kyrie obsession, bro? I don't I don't get it. I like I don't like is it is, well, it, is it his handle and all that? Is it his handle? Is it does well, that, is it because that's the stuff that people that, want to see in basketball? Like, is that what it is? That's exactly what it is. And I ain't gonna lie. So one thing I hate I hate when people overdo shit because they, when you overdo something, you discredit everybody else. <clears throat> Number one, if you want to give Kyrie Irving anything, say he got the best handle ever. And say he's the best finisher ever. Yeah, I'll take that all day. Okay. Stop talking about skills. Stop saying he's the oh he got the best skills because first off he's not even nowhere near the best passer. He ain't nowhere near the best passer. We're talking, and we talking about the league right now. They're not talking like all time. They're talking about the league right now. He still ain't the best passer. Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. So here's he, the he list. ain't the best. He the best here, here's the list. Here's the list. Go ahead. All right. So most skilled according to Complex Sports, number one Kyrie, number two KD. Number three, Jokic. Jokic. Oh, Jokic. Okay. Jokic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big man. Number four, Embiid. Number five, LeBron. Number six, Steph. Seven, Jason Tatum. Uh, Chris Paul is number eight. Oh no, 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 no. Chris Paul is number nine. Uh, Paul George is number eight, and then Luca number ten. I don't know. I'm putting Luca over Paul George. Okay. Yeah, Embiid don't need to be on the list. Jokic, he I ain't gonna lie, Jokic, he's a beast for a big man. He's hella talented for a big man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, MB don't need to be on the list. Um LeBron definitely gotta be near the top too. Okay. Le- yeah. it, it gotta be somewhere out of LeBron, Tatum, Tatum and honestly, I would probably say yeah, and I would probably say either Curry or Paul. And I'll go either or because they both bring something different. But okay. yeah, Kyrie, he just got two he got two very great skills and that's it. He has a handle. Paul, not Paul George. You're talking about when you say Paul, you're talking about Chris Paul. Yeah, Chris Paul, not Paul George. CP3, okay, CP3, okay. Yeah, CP3. Okay, okay. I can't say who I would put number one, though. As a matter of fact, I'll go LeBron or Steph. Or LeBron. Yeah, LeBron or Steph. Yeah. I no, yeah. I, I would go. I'm going, I'm going KD number one. Actually, I'm going K. I, I like him at number. Oh two. yeah, KD. KD, KD. KD's number two. I got KD. I think KD, LeBron, Steph, Kyrie. Maybe Kyrie. Kyrie's up there. I don't know. Like yeah, because his layup package is impeccable. 
His handle is crazy. Yep. His handle is crazy. Yeah. I don't know, but like, is how, what do you, how you feel about him as a shooter? Is he a shooter? Like, I don't. He's not a shooter, right? Like, yeah. He can. He's shoot. a shooter. He can shoot, but he's not a. Shooter. <clears throat> he's a scorer. I'll say that. He's a. Scorer. He's a scorer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is not bad. It's just, do you think those big men are too high? Number three and number four for Jokic and Embiid. Like, is that too high for them? Or oh yeah, they shouldn't be on the list. They shouldn't. They be shouldn't be on the list. So who would you? Replace, yeah, like who would you replace them with? Well, where's? Well, I guess is Giannis not considered skilled? I don't know. They be they, they knock him because they say all he could do is drive, um, and right. he can't really shoot, and he don't. You know, they so they they knock him for that. Yeah. Um, and I kind of agree. He's just really just athletic for real. Where, for what real. about where's, where's where's Zach Levine at? I mean, is he not top ten yet? I mean, where's Booker? I mean, yeah, where's yeah. I mean, That's where's Booker and Levine? I think Booker and Levine are like obvious guys that like should be elevated higher, right? Yeah. Um, and here's the thing too, like I'd be cool if there's no big man on the list because, like, let's be real. When you look at the big man in league today, it's not too many of them that have a whole bunch of skills. But like, people, people really think Embiid is that boy. Like, Embiid is MVP. You know, he's like... I don't get it. I don't get it. He can shoot. I don't get shoot, it. Though, I don't know. He can shoot as a... Yeah, what, where's, where's Anthony... I guess Anthony Davis not having a good year. Carl Anthony Towns. Where's Carl yeah. Anthony Towns? Yeah. Carl Anthony Towns just won the yeah. three-point shootout. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll be cool if he was on the list. I'll be cool with that. Okay, okay. Okay, because I guess it's not athletic. I mean, it's skilled. You know what I mean, so because maybe yeah, because skilled. Jokic as a passer can be is Embiid. He's one of the best big man passers I've ever seen. Yeah, you know what I mean, Embiid probably because he can he can pl play inside and out. Luca, mm -hmm. obviously, Luca is nice. It's crazy because Luca, he's just so like he just looks so he looks so he go moving in slow motion, bro. Like I'm like, how is he yeah. nice? But he, yeah, that skill, man. <laughs> but um, all right, all right, that's cool, that's cool. But yeah, I think I don't know. I like Levine, man. I like Levine and Booker, bro. I don't, I don't know where they're at. Um, and and so who is your oh CP three? So yeah, I heard, I seen that. It's crazy that the the season's about to be over, right? Like they just clinched the number one seed, mm -hmm. and uh, so you you think they're gonna get back to the finals? Yup, and I'm going to that motherfucker too. You know what pissed me off though? This this is one thing I fucking hate. I swear to God, I hate it with my soul, especially because he's my favorite player. Bro, people they be knocking this dude because he never made it out the second round. And, and there was a time where he never made it out the second round. Yeah, yeah, that was right. Yeah. But people don't understand this dude played in the Western Conference. He played in the toughest conference damn near his whole career. His whole career. Uh and then he always went to a team to make them better. Actually, when did he not play in the Western Conference? Because even when he was in New Orleans, yeah, like they were, he always played in New Orleans. I think before they played for New Orleans, they was called something else, wasn't they? Charlotte Horn? Oh, no, that was New Orleans, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. he got drafted to the New Orleans Hornets, yeah. like it was, yeah. yeah. Oh, and they was the weakest team in, his, in the league that year, too, yeah. when he got there. Yeah, he took, he, he took West, them to the playoffs. It was David West and him, and yeah, it wasn't even, yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, And he still took them to the playoffs. I think he took them to the second round. So this motherfucker been going to the second round since a fucking year. Yeah. And but what happens is, yo, like he get injured, or people on his team would get injured, yeah. or the closest shot he ever had was when he played for the Clippers and they had that mean ass starting five. But that's the well, thing. No, he that's has, all he they had. He has, he has quite a few. So, Cause remember then that year that he played for with the Rockets and like they remember that that game where they lost to the Warriors when they went like oh for like. 30 from the three-point line like in that like last yeah. game or something like that that was crazy but um i think he, did he pull his groin or his hamstring yeah i think he did get hurt in one of them yeah he did get hurt he did get hurt though yeah and i was just gonna say yo my man is always injured like and it motherfuckers don't understand like with his position you can't afford you can't play off an injury when you're a point guard okay like right. you're like one of the most mobile on the court you gotta direct the traffic and the pace and all that. If you got a pool groin, pool hamstring, or whatever, like bro, like you done. Yeah. And yeah, there's been so many times this man got injured. So it's just like bro, I just want him to win one, bro. Yeah. Just so they can stop calling my man to flop. Right. That should right. be I be wanna fight niggas. Well, last <laughs> year though, they got like I you know, you seen my episodes. We they was up 2-0. I thought they I thought it was over. And then the Bucks. Mm -hmm. 
The Bucks went crazy on them niggas, man. They basically sweat. They sweat. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, they they lost two, but then they said, yeah. "No, nope, gentlemen, sweep." Like, here we go, boom, boom. We're gonna get y'all out of here. Yeah. Man. Um. Yeah, and then I felt like that was that was Chris Paul's chance. I don't know, man. Like, it's it's tough to get back. Um, and it's tough to like to get over that hump. Like, I don't know, man. Like, you know, the. I was I was gonna say the, the Warriors would be the front runner, but if if Steph is hurt, man, if he's if he's hurt again, I don't, it's 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 not looking too good for the Warriors. But um, mm -hmm. I know it's crazy though. But um, anyway, I'm ready for LeBron to retire though, man. I think I think it's time for him to hang it up though, bro. He waiting for his son. I heard. I know. I know. That's what that's what he said. But it's it's cool. That that'll be cool. Like we never seen that. Whatever. So I think that'll be kind of dope. But. I just like just yeah. like Tom Brady. I'm really just like Iron Man. Like just let let it go, man. Like, like yeah, I feel uh, it. yo, man, we are gonna wrap this up, man. Yo, bro, did you have a good time tonight, man? Yeah, man, always a good time, man. Yeah, definitely, man. Um, yo, you know, you always welcome back, man. We gotta we one day, man. We gotta get you on with a couple couple other people, man. We gotta get you. We gotta get some women on when we on, man. You know what I mean? But again, okay, I, I definitely appreciate you. You know, pulling up for me, man, and uh. You know, I can't wait to see what you got next, man. Because, like I said, you always got something going mm -hmm. on, man. I, I, I told him before. I live vicariously through this guy, man. This guy about to have like some room. Okay. Like, ain't you about to move down to Houston and like? Have Yo, some I thought we were gonna talk about that too. That's funny. Why are you doing that? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah let's talk about that. <laughs> like, maybe, yeah, what, the, what are you doing, bro? You about to be? You about to? All right, so look, you about to end up on that show, nigga. Like, yeah. We, and I and I watch the show too. Y'all watch it because of y'all episode. That shit was fucking funny, bro. Yeah, crazy show, man. All right, so so real quick, this is what I'm about to do. Um, this is, you know, for anybody who whoever anybody who ever lived in a big city, you know, like they got like certain houses where you could rent rooms in. So you can get there'd be like a nice house in the suburbs. You could rent a room. You'll have like a digital keypad on the room, and you can get them on Airbnb. So boom, I found a nice ass crib in like a Houston suburb, and um. I'm a, they cost like six hundred dollars a month, so I'm gonna go there for about six to eight months while I'm working on my next uh, thing or whatever. And then, uh, and yeah, the main reason why I just want to lower, I want to keep my cost of living low, especially when I don't got my guaranteed money coming in from my job. Okay. Like I quit that. I don't know if they caught that. So yeah, so so yeah, I'm like, you know, I gotta keep my expenses low for, in order for me to do what my next move is. So yeah, yeah, I got about six to eight months, and then yeah, we are gonna see how it go. <laughs> That's crazy, and hey, you never have you ever had a roommate before? Like, no, right? Other well, in the, military, only in the military. That's it. Okay. So yeah, but even yeah. that, that's like a controlled environment where, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, this is different. This is different. But um, yeah, man, protect yeah. yourself, man. You know, I hope hopefully you move into a and it's a good neighborhood, right? It ain't no crazy stuff. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I ain't going nowhere near the hood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man i gotta get down to texas man i got you know like i said i just had my cuz from down there he was on here you know yeah we gotta yeah we got all link up though so, audience man if you're still watching i need you to hit the subscribe button hit the like button man yeah let's keep this thing going um you know who i want to get yeah. on here i gotta get your man on here man your man roman man the uh cordova come back oh yeah 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 you know I mean? yeah you know i mean shout out to you bro i know you've been supporting uh, but yeah, man, we gotta talk about some. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe we bring you on back for that, man, because you know I remember last episode we talked right. about your fighting experience and yo that shit. Yeah, that, yeah. Yo, that was only episode two, but yo, I that was one of my favorite episodes, man. Like, he was bugging. The Albemarle That's Park, funny. The Albemarle Park story. Yeah, that was a, that was the craziest intro ever. That shit. Yo, craziest <laughs> intro ever. Yo, man, we are gonna wrap this up. Yo, I appreciate you for coming on. This is another episode of the Two yeah. Podcast, y'all. Number 53, man. 53. All right, man. We're going to holler at y'all. Peace out. Yeah, we got it. All right.